Here, I'd like to start from the beginning. I'd like to create a brand new calendar, call it Seahorse Fiscal Calendar. By default, it's going to start from the system date that you're at and look at the beginning of the calendar year, which happens to be January 1st of 2016, as we discussed, even though we are currently in June. Let's say your company has started to report their financial transactions not in January. It could be any other date, like for example, April 1st. You have to ask the customer at that stage to say, how far do you want to go back and have your previous transaction to be brought over? Remember that you're dealing with a customer that has been in business for a while, and now they want to go to Dynamics AX. So at this stage, you have to figure out how far do they want to go back, which opens up another story which is data migration, and bringing up the summary and basically detailed data, which is a completely different discussion, and it adds to the cost of project implementation. One of the advice that I have, usually you should advise the customer, they should not go 